The price of corn and demand for the commodity is always of top concern for cattlemen. So what's ahead in this year's crop? We have more in this week's Market Watch. Market Watch, brought to you by Pfizer Animal Health. Joining me in the studio today is Chad Spearman, market analyst for Cattle Facts. Chad, thanks for coming back to the show. Thanks for having me, Kevin. You know, the size of the U.S. corn co crop has, has sparked lots of rising concerns uh, a, a, among a number of us, and I'd just be interested in, in your take. What impact has it had on the market? Well, it's had a major impact, Kevin, because uh, estimated corn production levels have declined over 200 million bushels since the initial estimate back in May. Mm. Uh, in September, the USDA estimated average yields at about 162 bushels to the acre. Uh, but early yields have been disappointing, and it's likely that those yields are going to decline further into the fall. What does it mean from an overall global impact? Well, it has a major impact because uh, the U.S. is the largest corn producer in the world, accounting for about 40 percent of all production, and also accounting for about 60 percent of, of uh, global exports. Mm -hmm. So a huge, huge impact globally. Big impact. Yeah. yeah. So give us your take as, as you look forward uh, from this uh, demand side uh, on, on the corn crop. What, what do you see occurring? Well, we've been focusing recently on, on the decline in yields and production levels, uh, but demand has also been on the rise. Um, rising demand for corn use for ethanol as well as exports mm -hmm. have, have had an impact. And when you combine that declining supply with rising uh, usage, then you have your ending stocks levels declining rapidly. In fact, uh, projected corn ending stocks have declined now for four consecutive months. And when you look at stocks to use levels, which is a way to measure total usage relative to total supplies, um, they've declined from around 14% back in May at the initial estimate to down around 8% in September. Uh, that steady decline has fueled the market and supported the higher trend. Um, and actually, the December 2010 corn futures contract has rallied from around $3.45 a bushel back in late June uh, to a high near $5.25 a bushel in September. A major increase. Uh, the market's expected, I think, to find uh, strong support above $4.50 a bushel wow. until we see that stocks to use level stabilize. Wow. Well, just goes to demonstrate the extreme volatility in today's market, and we appreciate all you all do at Cattle Facts to, to help us track and, and understand a little bit more about that. Thanks for coming to the show. Thanks, Kevin. For more information from our partners at Cattle Facts, visit cattlefacts.com.